Sony Pictures Animation has finally dropped our very first look at the upcoming Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse sequel, and given us a load of new info, including title, release date, and plot details. While I won't be breaking down this first look teaser bit by bit, since this one dropped at a very odd time and lots of other people have covered it already, I'll be going over what we've learned about this movie so far, and what we can expect. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below, it does wonders in getting my content out there, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all the cartoon news. The first look picks up sometime after the first movie, as Mars Morales is chilling in his room. Soon enough, Gwen Stacy bursts through a portal, and after rummaging through a bunch of his stuff, whisks him away in their spider suits. What follows is a rapid sequence featuring the pair travelling through a multiversal realm and into a bunch of different portals leading into various worlds, each a little different to the other. In one of these universes, Miles runs into Spider-Man 2099 who was teased at the end of the first movie. The first look closes out with a title reveal, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, quite obviously the first part of a two-part follow-up. The date of the film is then announced as October 7, 2022, making for yet another film whose release date is being bumped by close to a year. While the first look doesn't give away too much, it's clear from our brief glimpse that the movie is set to not only introduce Miles to different worlds, a flip from the original movie which saw spider people from other worlds dropped into Miles's, but will also introduce him to new spider people. Speaking with Entertainment Weekly, the film's directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller dropped some more details on the film. The pair were asked about Miles' journey in the upcoming movie and noted, He's been trying to step into big shoes, realising it's not so easy to juggle family and growing as a spider person, and that it's lonely hiding the truth about yourself from the people you love. Lord and Miller described his story as an epic, saying, We wrote what we thought the story needed to be, and to our surprise we realised it was two movies instead of one, revealing that the second part is currently being worked on and will be released in cinemas in 2023. They also further elaborated on the ideas of exploring more universes within the movie. We're just getting started. In the first look you get just a taste of what we're going for. Every dimension looks and feels radically different from all the others. They all look like they were drawn by different artists. It's an opportunity to build on the visual foundation of the first movie and push it to bold new places. Some of the groundbreaking art techniques the team has developed for this movie have blown us away. It's going to be an exciting experience for audiences like nothing anyone's seen. Another major revelation from the trailer, and the Q&A, is that Spider-Man 2099 will be a major part of the upcoming movie. As previously mentioned, the character was teased at the end of the first Spider-Verse, with Oscar Isaac briefly voicing the character. It's been revealed that Isaac will return to the role, and will have such a huge presence that he'll receive top billing alongside Shamik Moore and Hayley Steinfeld. Lord and Miller noted that Isaac wanted the character to be interesting, noting that he's really made a complex character out of Miguel O'Hara, and he's definitely not boring. Spider-Man 2099 is an alternate Spidey from the comic universe of Earth-928, who lives in a future time after the end of the Heroic Age, and is often referred to as the Spider-Man of Tomorrow. O'Hara inherits his powers from a non-radioactive spider, which includes superhuman speed, agility, stamina, durability, reflexes, telepathy, and accelerated vision and healing. As a favourite actor of mine, I'm really keen to see what Isaac brings to this role. As to what other spider people will appear in the movie, Lord and Miller are keeping fairly quiet at the moment, simply telling EW that Miles will reunite with some old friends and meet a lot of new ones. That said, no other voice cast has been announced just yet, and it's not confirmed which other spider people will return or make their debuts. The pair, however, did slyly elaborate, saying, 
we're getting to do more or less everything we have ever wanted in regards to characters and alternate universes that will be introduced. They were however a little more cryptic as to a possible crossover with the current Marvel Cinematic Universe Spider-Man who is set to go on his own multiversal adventure later this month, simply saying everyone is part of the Spider-Verse. For now, that's about all we're getting on this Spider-Verse film, but it's clear Sony wanted something out there as Spider-Hype is at an all-time high with No Way Home just around the corner. I'm sure we'll see more on this one in no time. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the biggest cartoon news, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more regular installments like this. And if you're keen on diving deep into the history of all your favourite animated characters, don't forget to check out my continuing cartoon evolution series linked at the end of the video. And at that, I'm throwing it over to you. I want to know what are your thoughts on the upcoming Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Part 1? And what are you most hoping to see from it? Fire away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.